Right. Uh, just imagine the feeling where all the problems that they had going on in Washington, you get a phone call around the All-Star break saying, oh, by the way, and we see the finish that time on the inside by, by Blair. And they tell you, you know, got some tough news for you. You're going to have to join the Dallas Mavericks, who just wound up as a second oh. seed in the West. And Hayward gets the basket in the foul. So we have seen a couple of big people make some spectacular plays the last time down the court. Juan Butler, and now Brendan Haywood as Blair picks up his first foul. The front on defense by Blair. He can't get back around in time to stop the angle of Haywood. The pass was delivered at the right moment, quick enough and soon enough so that the defender, Blair, couldn't get around behind him. Hill and Blair will come out of the game, and Tim Duncan will come back in along with Parker. Well, amazing is being here. Season tickets for 2010. 2011 are on sale now. Go to NBA.com backslash tickets to reserve your seats. The NBA where amazing happens. Haywood with his second conventional three-point play of the night, giving the Mavericks the five-point lead. Ginobili with the layup. Well, he's gotten a few of those so far. And that's part of what you have to live with with Manu Ginobili. Yeah, he's got two turnovers already, but he also is daring. And he's willing to take a chance. And there he is. Foul on Bonner. Underneath, away from the ball. That'll be his second. Ginobili looking over the floor. Splits the two white jerseys. Takes a chance. Gets to the rim for the easy score. The screen moves over. Terry tries to go under. Ginobili goes to the rim. So Bonner with two fouls goes to the bench. And replaced by Antonio McDice who started. Parker defending against Perea. Parker wary of Davisky setting the high screen. And here is Butler for three. Under seven to play in the first half. Dallas by three. Parker with a two-point basket. Cuts the Mavs lead to one. Six for Parker. Parker after missing the first couple of shots starting to make his way, find that jump shot, increase his range a little bit. And Nowitzki double teamed as Jefferson coming over and he banks it in and uh, Rick Carlisle is yelling that he should be fouled and going to the line as well. He didn't shoot that one. He just threw it up there to get the whistle on the foul call and wound up backing it off the glass. And didn't get the foul call. So the lead again is three. Duncan going away with a very difficult shot from the baseline. And the Spurs now have made their last six from the field. Nowitzki comes right back with a basket. And Rick Nowitzki has 14 points on six of seven shootings and a timeout. Remember what we said in the open. Nowitzki has averaged almost 29 points during the regular season against this team. Six of seven from the field for Dirk Nowitzki. That one, he's just calling it up there. Glass, praying at the same time. That one he'll make all night long. You leave him alone, facing up. The last chance that you have in my prime to get what I want. And obviously my goal has been the same. That's been the championship. So to me, you know, losing the first round, second, and third, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's, it's, it's another year that, that I didn't reach my goal. Well, it's the best supporting cast that Dirk has had with Kidd and Marion, and now the trade that we talked about with Karan Butler and Brendan Haywood, and they are deep indeed. You know what surprises me, amazes me about Dirk Nowitzki is how many games, okay, he has played, or on the other side of it, how few he's missed throughout his career. When you consider not only the NBA and the playoffs, we see the finish that time by Duncan, but the international competition, Dick, on top of all that, playing for his home country, and he still gives you 80 games, 79, 82, almost every season. And tonight, 9 of 11 from the field. The rest of the Mavericks are 5 for 23. So where would they be without Dirk Nowitzki shooting thus far? And uh, the Spurs can regain the lead with 5.20 to go. back and look at that pick and roll situation okay for Tim Duncan 
winding up going to the basket. You'll see Duncan step out, set it, and then the key is when he rolls, but also when is the ball delivered to him. The defense tries to force the ball down. Duncan rolls. It's delivered right at the right moment before the defense can get there to rotate. Spurs have made seven straight field goals, and Parker very nearly makes it eight. Mavericks maintain the one-point lead, nearing five minutes remaining in the first half. Big Stockton along with the czar, Mike Fratello and Marty Snyder here. Game one here in Dallas. Turnover. And here comes Parker going ahead. Tried to get it to Jefferson, but he couldn't have enough mustard on it. And Karan Butler picked it up. Here is Berea, who's tripped by Tony Parker. And that'll be the fourth team foul. On Greg Popovich's team and the second on Parker. You're exactly right. He just couldn't find the handle on the ball to be able to get enough zip on it to get it out in front to his teammate. Jason Kidd, who has five points. It's really been a one-man gang offensively with Nowitzki. Here is Marion with his unorthodox shooting style, and Haywood puts it back. Ten now for Haywood. So two big guys and double figures for Dallas. You're wondering how long Haywood is. He just did that over the top of Tim Duncan, who's pretty long himself. And the offensive rebounding resulting in seven chance points, seven to one in favor of Dallas as Duncan gets free inside for the layup. And now Duncan has ten. A tight game here with 4-10 remaining in the first half. The Mavericks lead the Spurs by one in game one. And there is Butler cutting to the basket. Reverse layup for Karan Butler. Perea with a good fake feed. Good movement without the ball. And a foul going inside. And Tony Parker with the penetration. TNT in June. It's a new season and a new reason to get more leverage. The Leverage two-hour season premiere event is Sunday, June the 20th at 9, 8 central, only on TNT. Game two of the series will be Wednesday night here at the American Airlines Center. And this will be the first Spurs free throw of the game, and Parker makes it good as Dirk Nowitzki comes back into the game. He has scored 14. Thus far. Now, if you're looking at the score right now, you're saying, Antonio, you're saying to yourself, well, what's keeping us hanging around this game? One fact is they're shooting over 56% from the floor, so they're making shots, but they've taken just one free throw attempt in the game thus far up to this point, and you've got a guy like Nowitzki shooting 66 out of 7, 14 points, but they have held Dallas to just 42% shooting. That's the reason why. And defense has always been the name of the game for the San Antonio Spurs and earlier this year when they weren't up to their level it was because of their defense had fallen off a bit. Ron Butler with a fall away. Butler now has 11 so the Mavericks have three in double figures. We talk about defense on the Spurs they always led the league one or two in defensive field goal percentage. Imagine how good they were when they had Robinson and Duncan together. And Duncan ball knocked away lost out of bounds. Richard Jefferson, who, as we said, had come on. Hill going to the bench. So the Spurs now have them. Jefferson, Duncan, McDice, Parker, and Ginobili. Big three in the game right now for San Antonio. Karan Butler again with another follow-up, just like the last time. What hasn't Butler done? He's taking the ball to the basket aggressively. He's hitting a couple of fallaways. We know he can shoot facing up, so a terrific offensive player in that pickup from Washington. I mean, the biggest lead for the Mavericks has been seven. They're up to five now. And the ball is knocked away by Marion. And Marion is fouled by Nick Dice. And that'll be a loose ball foul in a shooting situation. Mavericks lead the Spurs by five under three minutes to go in the first half. Some NBA news and notes. 
Kevin Garnett has been suspended for game two of the series against the Heat. Quentin Richardson of Miami fined $25,000 in that incident that occurred with 40 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Home team has won every game thus far in the playoffs. Mehmet Okur, torn left Achilles out for the rest of the playoffs, and it's a battle of attrition for the Utah Jazz at this point. I know you're going to be working and doing that game tomorrow night. Yeah, how about injuries this year that have knocked out key guys from the playoff teams? Like Portland, you know, Brandon Boy, you know, they're two big centers out, you know, for the playoffs. Then you've got you know, Bogut going out from Milwaukee, who was having such a terrific season now. Okur, just a shame that some of these playoff teams have lost such key guys. Kirilenko not playing for Utah. One out of two for Marion. Dallas by six. You can see the Spurs only Parker's free throws. Their lone time at the start.